Mama Don is named after a lady named Don Sinclair. And so I used her name as the mama deer and, and her last name is the child deer. In my journey, I'm getting choked up. Uh, in my journey, she was the first person that helped me. I wanted to send it to other poets throughout the world to see what they thought. And I thought if I could get it in the hands of someone that loved it, that had some connections, that would be way better than me trying to make connections myself. So I sent out, I would say, 30 in-mails on LinkedIn and got two responses, James Sale and Don Sinclair. Don only responded with, I'll read it. Okay, so I sent it to her and she loved it. And she was so encouraging. Now, some people said, I don't want to read it. You, they were the Sovas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they were the Sovas. And then, and then I met Mama Don. But uh, our relationship with, with me, with Don, we've never spoken live. But we were like pen pals and sort of like my writing mom. I bounce ideas off of her um, and her validation is, is important to me. Uh, and so I wanted to name a character after her. But one email she sent me, she did XOXO, you know, and then she wrote Mama Don. And it meant a lot to me, but it's also metrical. Mama Don, boom, <laughs> I needed it. And so- uh, It was meant to be. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then Sinclair is metrical too. So um, not only are the characters named after her, but her character is a lot like that. Um, I do her voice in more of a Southern kind of maternal person, even though she, you know, Don herself is English, but Mama Don tries to get able to stay, which is another thing that happens when you're trying to accomplish something. You have the naysayer that wants to get you to turn around, but then you have the caring person that says, I want you to stay right here, it's safe right here. Um, and so she sort of, the character, not the real Don, but the, the deer, represents another obstacle for Abel. Man, it does feel really safe here. Uh, I don't really want to go in the cave. I don't really want to do this. I could stay here. Um, so that's another obstacle on whatever journey you're on, you're going to have that caring voice that is loving concern for you but is also could hold you back if you succumb to it.